Hey, what's going on everybody? Paul Tech here, and welcome to the unboxing and hands-on of the ZTE Blade Spark. Now this device is one of their prepaid devices through at and It's being sold for about $100 right now. You can pick this device up at your local Best Buy, Walmart, Target, just to name a few locations. So before I go any further, I do want to send a big shout out to ZTE for sending this device out to me for review. Now in this video, I'm just going to do an unboxing. I'll do a quick walkthrough of the device, show you some of the features, and then about a week from today, I will provide a full review. So let's go ahead and remove the top portion of the box here. And there it is, the ZTE Blade Spark sitting right there on top of the box. Now I gotta say, ZTE is really doing a great job. I mean, they're coming out with all types of good smartphones, affordable smartphones, that also have some really good specifications. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this device out of the box. I'm gonna place it to the side and then pretty much go through whatever else is included in the box. All right, so one thing I do like about AT&T boxes here is this, it can wait, distracting driving is never okay. No texting and driving, guys. All right, so let's go ahead and see what else we got here, lifting that up. We do get some reading material here, so it gives you some ways of savings, um, AT&T prepaid user guide, and then you also get your blade product safety and warranty information, and then a get started guide for your ZTE Blade Spark. And also included in the box is your USB Type-C data cable, so that is excellent. We get Type-C on this device. Also included is your wall brick here, your wall charger, and I'll definitely let you guys know in the full review um, how well the battery is and charging times and stuff like that. Your SIM ejector tool included as well, and let's get to the ZTE Blade Spark here. So here it is. It does have a 5.5 inch HD display, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 on this device. It does look really nice, so there was no battery inside the box, so you have a non-removable 3,140 milliamp battery. Now let's go ahead and take a little tour around the device. Now to the right hand side, you got your volume rockers, your textured power button, and to the bottom, you got your USB Type-C charging port as well as a mic. To the left hand side, all you get there is your tray for your SIM card and micro SD card, and up on top is your headphone jack and noise cancellation mic. To the back of this device, you're getting a 13 megapixel camera, LED flash, as well as a fingerprint sensor. To the bottom, you're getting ZTE branding and a backfiring speaker. Now, like I mentioned, this device does not have a removable back, so um, 3,140 milliamp battery is what you're getting that is sealed in. Now, I really like this design pattern to the back of the ZTE Blade Spark. This design is really nice. I really do like it. It has a nice form factor. Feels like the weight is just evenly distributed, and I like the slope to the bottom and to the top. I think that's a really nice touch on the ZTE Blade Spark. So I'm gonna go ahead and power this device on here, see if it has any juice, and yes it does, ZTE powered by Android. So like I mentioned, this is a 5.5 inch display, 720p resolution, you're also getting a 5 megapixel front facing camera, you get capacitive buttons to the bottom there which they do light up, and the home button is your notification light and that will pulsate, and I really like how ZTE utilizes that home button as a notification light, I really like that actually compared to just like a little light up on the corner of a device, but anyways I'm going to get this all set up and then I'll walk you through a little bit more of this device. Okay, so we are in the home screen here. You got your Google search bar, contacts, email, Play Store, Google folder here, Chrome, Gmail, Maps, YouTube, Drive, Photos, Docs, and Keep. So you got those applications in there. Let's go ahead and open up the dialer now. And excellent, you got the video calling feature. Absolutely love devices that offer that video calling. Let's go ahead and go into the messaging application now and um, take a look at that so you guys can see just how it looks. Go ahead and show you the emojis that are pre-installed on this keyboard here. That's funny, I always get people that ask me, now, why do you always show the emojis? Why do you show the keyboard? Because when I first started making unboxing videos, I wasn't including this, and people were telling me, why didn't you include that, the emojis and the keyboard, so now I do include it. So let's go ahead and move on from there. So you do get some AT&T bloatware, as you can see, and um, so you got that folder there. Let's go ahead and exit out. Amazon Shopping, DirecTV, My AT&T, and that looks to be it there. Let's go ahead and jump into the app drawer now. And these are all the applications that are pre-installed on the ZTE Blade Spark. So I haven't downloaded anything. I haven't even connected this to my home Wi-Fi. So this is pretty much everything you get 
with the Blade Spark here. So Dolby Audio is included, which is nice. You got Facebook there, and let's see what else. FM Radio, so that is nice. Plug in a pair of headphones, and you can just be listening to FM Radio. Um, but yeah, definitely the bloatware is um, is real on this device here. AT&T, it's like AT&T and Verizon, they really like to throw their own applications at you here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Does feel pretty snappy there. Let's go ahead and exit out. Long press on the home screen and then you'll get into your wallpapers. And I really like this setup here because right there you can change the lock screen and the home screen wallpaper. You got themes, widgets there as well. And let's go ahead and move on from there. Go ahead and pull down the status bar. Take a look at some of the quick toggles that this device has to offer. So you got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, you got the flashlight one. So I do like that. No flash does look pretty bright there. Let's see what else you got. Airplane mode, do not disturb, hotspot. You got data saver and invert colors as well. And let's go ahead and jump into settings here. See what we got. So if you slide out from the left, you get quick access to your settings there. And let's go ahead and see what else we got here. So uh, looks like we got mobile hotspot. So you do got mobile hotspot on this device. So that is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and click on more. Then you also get uh, HD voice, so enhanced LTE services. Uh, no NFC on this device, so you can't do Android Pay or Android Beam, so just kind of keep that in mind. Jumping into display there, you do get adaptive brightness, which is really nice. Then you also get this other option here, press the power button twice to launch the camera, so I'll go ahead and enable that. And ambient display, so basically, your screen will wake when you receive notifications, so that is pretty neat, I really do like that. Um, pulse notification light, navigation key light duration, so like I said, these uh, capacitor buttons do light up, which is nice. And see what else we got here, let's go ahead and jump into storage. So the ZTE Blade Spark does have 16 gigabytes of internal storage. Now you also get the micro SD card like I mentioned, um, but this device so far it says I've used 8.84 gigabytes, so what I have available is 7.16. That's what's available after um, the operating system and the preloaded app. So um, yeah, so that's what you got there. Let's go ahead and back up out of there and we'll go into, oh, you got this other option here called Me Pop or My Pop, which basically does give you some um, good one-handed operation with that. Let's go ahead and exit out of there and see what else we got here. Let's jump into security. And this is where I'm gonna show you how you can set up your fingerprint on the ZTE blade spark here so as you can see there all you got to do is just place your finger to the back uh, multiple times just pressing to the back of the fingerprint sensor and then it'll just start registering and then it's pretty much at hundred percent it's completed so pretty quick process to register your fingerprint and then you get some other options there as you can see so you can unlock your device of course um, shortcuts to your favorite apps, take a photo, answer phone calls. So I definitely like all the functions behind that fingerprint sensor. All right, so let's go to about phone. As you can see right there, this is rocking Android 7.1.1 Nougat. So that's excellent to see on a $100 device is practically running the latest version of Android um, to date. So you're going to get a lot of good features that come along with Nougat. So let's go ahead and move on and just take a quick look at the camera interface here. Again, 13 megapixel rear camera, five in the front. Uh, shutter speed does appear to be okay there. Got the burst shot mode going on. Um, you also get manual controls on this device. So that's something else that is really good to see um, that you have the manual controls as well. And you also get these different filters um, just to have some fun with your photos as well. And again, I'll go into more detail in the full review about the camera's low light performance and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at that fingerprint sensor. Let's see how well it works. Let's go ahead and lock it all the way. And bam, unlocks. Let's do that one more time. And there it goes. And fingerprint sensor seems to be working pretty good there. Now this device also does have the Qualcomm Snapdragon 425. Uh, quad core processor clocked at 1.4 gigahertz, two gigabytes of RAM as well. So for a hundred bucks, it's looking like a pretty decent package here. I mean, AT&T prepaid, no contract. What do you think guys? Let me know. Well, hopefully you guys did enjoy the unboxing and hands-on. I will be providing a full review in about a week from today, so stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel for more future videos. This is Paul Tech and I will talk to you guys on the next one. Bye.